what it do boys and girls we are out here at big chillin we are gonna try and uh, get ourselves started a very ambitious project uh, here on city skylines we're gonna try and get one million people uh, and we're gonna try to do this uh, as beautifully as possible that wouldn't be a bad idea uh, we'll let it be West Valley I guess that sounds good we can work with that uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put this up, uh, just so in that way we can actually, uh, we can still do some specialty districts and, uh, some stuff like that without having to worry about running out of resources. See if we can make this into a badass town over here. And we actually got ourselves a pretty decent start. Um, but, uh, I'm going to try and put together something real nice that I've been checking out. Uh, I'll put a link to uh, a link to this guy down below. Definitely a big shout out to Overcharged EGG for these setups. Uh, they were amazing and they actually help uh, really free flow the city without any kind of issue from start to finish. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I'll work with this because this I can actually lead into this area over here. Perfect. So you see, honestly, this opening to separate the residential and the commercial traffic is beautiful. And the way that that pulls it off is amazing. We have to be careful, though, because it's going to cost a lot of money to run the pipes and uh, everything from way over here. We're going to get this guy here. And there's our output. Get those together. I'll try and go like this far out. If I can and a little over this way like I said I'm not trying to be super hyper hyper efficient the money's gonna run through quick on this one at least to start <laughs> I'll put him right here that works we're gonna actually turn that into uh, commercial also, I gotta try and do this real quick, just so we can uh, have a good little starting area. <laughs> Alright, we have ourselves a little industrial area they can start on. Some shopping. Um, so, let's make our little neighborhood. Beautiful. We got 30 right there, we brought that down. Alright, now we can switch to our smaller roads. Hold the stack neighborhood back here. Yeah, then we'll run that parallel there. Yep, and now we got our little starting neighborhood. I like it. Uh, I built a lot of the areas and a lot of the residential places at the same time. So a lot of people would move in at the same time and then kind of just all die at the same time. And it was a real bad time. I might go for that clover right there, and I might try and see if I can reroute that. Try and get that aside next, and just kind of reroute that right into my major highway. And there goes our people. They are starting to build some houses. We're going to speed this up a little bit, and uh, make it happen, Captain. Once I start building down there, I'll start putting in some more places. Uh, but I just don't want to, like I said, I don't want to rush too much residential too fast. Look, there's some big industries right off the bat. Boom, boom. But yeah, I really like this design. Once we have 1,300 people, I can probably flatten out those mountains and hope that we can make like a coastline area. Which would be awesome, honestly. Um, because we can get some serious neighborhood cash off that. Let that fill up. <laughs> Philip. Roads now have names. Click on them and open road panel information. Okay. We will name this The Street. Our house is in the middle of the street. Street. Or something like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, we can actually take a second to pause here. Because um, that's perfect. 
Um, now, what we really should be doing is, well, what we actually are going to do here is we are going to, we're going to put a trash in, if it's possible. Oh, yeah, perfect. There you go. Ah, uh, you know what, actually... It's probably better to go right here. As you see, I made a couple of alternate choices of connecting in my major areas. Uh, so you can get from the neighborhood right through here, go right across, boom, and you're already going down into the uh, industrial area. Now we have a little bit more of a neighborhood. Uh, so now we can continue working everything in. I think what I'm going to do next um, is they're going to start wanting some industry for all these people. Uh, so I'm going to try and get these taken care of. Now that we got some money going, we can actually connect this road up here. Finish this off for a while. Uh, they're going to want, they're still wanting a lot of residential, so that's good. That's really good. And we keep slowly moving them in over here. Um, and that'll start making us a lot of money, which would be nice. It's traffic is doing fairly well. I really, really like this design. Way to work. Industry is moving nicely. Uh, they're actually looking for more workers, so that's good. Uh, so we're gonna keep on cranking out some residency. Like I put that up, and boom, that whole area just like, like you saw the size of this in the inner area, like just, just exploded with people like right off the bat. That was awesome. Uh, so I guess what we'll do is we'll throw this area in next. Um, we'll give it just a moment here. Again, I don't want to... Oh, perfect. Okay. So we got that going. So what I want to do is, I mean, I want to make sure that right here I can put in a hospital because I know people are going to start wanting to uh, wanting to get some, some sickness treatment. Uh, so we'll put a little clinic right there. And it is on the avenue, so we have huge, huge, huge uh, reach off that clinic. Um, and uh, we're going to actually put that right next to the... Uh, uh, we're going to put the elementary school, actually. Hmm. Let's put it actually right behind the clinic. I feel like that would be a good spot. Um... At least a good start for the school. It's like we have a lot of lakefront property editing it over there. But I want to leave this open because I want to continue this uh, this avenue going that direction. Um, kind of continue building off of that original uh, original opening area. There we go. There's some more industry and this. And this, and then we can run once we get this next piece. We actually, what we want to do is we want to save up for um, we want to save up for another power plant because we're going to need that soon, really soon. <laughs> uh, as well as making a uh, slightly bigger industrial area. All right, uh, let's go and start it up. And we can actually come over here and look to fill in another brick for the people. Beautiful. Put some more stores over here for everyone. I like it. Yeah, see, traffic is, is neat, dude. Like, there's no problems, there's no, you know jam ups, there's no like issues, it, it just, it's very nice, like even here in this first intersection, like everything just free flows very, very smoothly and I like it, uh, let's see, how did this go, did this go like this, yeah, so see, this isn't even a one way road, this is a two way road actually right here, but this like going out like this and coming back in, this, this first initial horseshoe brings all this business to life over here, right? And I can actually pull this uh, and do an additional little extra one-way direction here. And right back down. Beautiful.
I am going to probably leave it there for right now. Um, and we're going to see if we can keep on making this into a, into a hella city here. Um, like I said, we're going to be looking to uh, we're gonna make this into a big one. We got our first, you know, 16, 1700 people in here. Um, but hopefully we see something real fancy coming out of it soon. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.